everyone, my name is Onvi. I'm a student at Northeastern University and today I will be showing you around campus. Here we have Snell Library. It's our only library on campus and it has four floors. Two of them are currently under construction, but there are a lot of collaborative spaces and quiet spaces to study. I definitely spend a lot of my time here and overall, just a great library. Okay, so here I have ISEC and EXP, which are two different research buildings. Both of them have engineering research labs as well as technology research labs, and ISEC has more of the science lab areas. Both also serve as really great study spots. Northeastern is located in the Fenway area of Boston, so there's a lot of restaurants and cafes that you could go to. We're also about a mile away from Newbury Street, which is this famous street on Boston that has a lot of restaurants and stores, so there's definitely a lot of fun things to do around campus after class. one of the largest freshman dorms and also home to one of our two dining halls. which is a train station that we have on campus. It's super convenient because they have bus stations, train stations, and also the commuter rail, so you can get in and out of Boston really easily. This is great for if you're on co-op, if you want to travel to nearby cities, or if you simply just want to get to the other side of Boston. So behind us is Centennial Commons. It's kind of the common quad within Northeastern. It's a really nice place where um, sometimes students hold events and also people tend to sit out here when the weather gets warm. Um, it is a really nice place that kind of builds a sense of community around our campus um, and it really has that college campus feel. Alright, so past Centennial Commons, we have Baracus Health Center, which is the health sciences building and also some upperclassmen housing, such as West Village F and G. And then behind me, there is Wallaston's, which is a deli type convenience store for on campus where you can use your dining dollars, but also save using the Fizz card, which I will be doing now. So part of having a Fizz card is having the app and here I'm just making sure that my Wally's purchase is complete um, and then I can scroll through 
and discover the rest of the app so like i mentioned i get three times the points on groceries as part of my rewards of having a fizz card and also i have really prioritized um, learning and tracking of my spending a little bit more to make sure that i'm allocating my money to the right places so here i can see that i've spent money at wally's and duncan Another part of Fizz is the amazing support and education programs that they have inbuilt on the app. Um, I personally love learning about how to budget in college uh, because this is so relevant to my everyday spending. So this is yet another perk of having the Fizz card and Fizz app.